say goodbye to my family because <clears throat> I'm staying down here. We're continuing. God damn. We're continuing truck camping. I uh I went on a charter on Thursday and uh the Captain Dave, cool dude, he invited me out to go like you know spearfishing on, on Tuesday out of Hatters if weather permits. But today and tomorrow morning I'm hitting the triangle wreck that is off Kitty Hawk Beach, 2nd Street, and I'm gonna do some street fishing out there. So the adventure continues, and we are gonna continue on to uh, hopefully find some other places. I think I'm passing wherever I'm supposed to be. Ooh, coming in hot, bye bye. I think I just came in the wrong fucking street, didn't I? I did! Oh man, I gotta turn around real quick, get out of here. <laughs> All right, let me talk later. finished up diving at another place so we went, we went we went and dove two different spots uh technically like three different wrecks or four something like that but um joe took me to the kitty hawk one which is amazing the visibility out there was great I'm sure we rolled some cool clips of that um then well we kind of spooked off some of the fish and uh joe put a couple fish in his in his bag so and then i I didn't, I didn't feel like taking any shots after I, uh, I screwed up and shot a trigger fish that was way too small. And the murky shadow, it's kind of, I thought it was bigger, um, but I was wrong. And then we went to um, this other spot, and now the second wreck, I won't talk about where it's at, because uh, screw you, just kidding. Uh, it's just out of the respect for Joe, the fact that he took me here and it was nice of him to, to take me here. Um, so we dove in for a while, it's not that far off the beach, it was awesome, we'll roll some clips of that. Saw some couple small sheep's head, but they're all too small, so you know it is. Uh, didn't like taking shots, especially when you don't know, especially after you just shot a small trigger fish. Um, and then we uh, came back, got the truck. I had chicken salad, um, just started the truck, even though I have no idea where I'm going. And uh, I guess we're gonna find a camp spot, maybe, or a place to park, maybe. I don't know. Uh, Sleeping in your car around here is not really that great. Uh, people, the cops will stop and knock at your door. And um, and this is like a more stealthy rig than like say a van or my bus. But still, I have things in the back like that kind of make it obvious that I'm, I might be sleeping in there. And they should probably investigate a little bit. Um, I also need ice. So we're gonna go get some gas, ice, and find a place, maybe a campground or something like that. And my watch is dead. Um, maybe a campground or something cool like that to, to stay tonight. Um, Cause that'd be nice. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, this is shore diving series and with no fish. And uh, 
we're gonna do it again tomorrow. Tomorrow, and then hopefully, 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 <clears throat> Tuesday we can run offshore. We check the weather app again. So this is Oregon Inlet to Cape Hatteras, North Carolina, and let's update the page. Let's see what she says. So. We're looking at Tuesday, same winds east. Now they're not or, nor, they're not northeast winds. Now they're just east winds. Uh, 10 to 15 seas, three to four. Chance of showers, a slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. It's Outer Banks. Everything changes. You know how it goes. Um. So yeah, tomorrow we should get some good diving from the shore. I want to get that that rack in the morning. Um, that water was pretty clear. But it's uh, it's got a murk layer at the bottom, very murky, kind of scares you, scares you, because you're like, what, what, what could be down there lurking that you don't know is down there? For example, bull shark. That would suck. All right, well, I'm gonna go drive, find a place to go, hang out. Bye. Oh, also, I wanted to mention this. Uh, that triggerfish bit my hand, so I punched him as hard as I could right in the head. Knocked his little ass out. Now, arcade-o'd his little stupid trigger fish head down to the fucking sea rack. Alright. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Even though I didn't shoot any good fish. Uh, I enjoyed it. I love just diving those wrecks. Watching fish. Watching them interact. Seeing the different layers of water. Um, just being in the water. So, if y'all like me, who, when you spend half your life on sea, not allowed to be in the sea, you live vicariously, through the others that are in the sea. Yeah. Okay. Thank you again. Uh, like, share, subscribe, I guess. Please. Motherfucker. And this campground, it's an RV park or like a trailer park too, but all the trailer parks are on stacks. The place smells like hot dogs. And it literally smells like what you would imagine. Trailer Park Boys. The episodes were like the Sam Squanch just making hot dogs all the time. The Squizzies. That's the smell of this place. That's my back. That's a guy that looks like Sam Squanch right there. Oh, shit. Yeah. sweet. Today's been amazing. I just gotta sit back and relax this and take in the back the sunset behind it. This, uh, this campground that I'm staying at has like a few primitive sites and I'm staying in one of them. The other ones are like, it's a trailer park and um, the locals are not too friendly of the out-of-state Maryland tags truck. It's okay. Because I want to keep that dang on me. Two spear goons. Wow! Alright. Cheers, y'all. Joe texted me about spear fishing. I think I gotta back up and go. But moving slow. The place ain't bad. I just booked a place at uh, Cape Point. Hatteras. Restoked for tonight. So, yeah. Keep you updated. Point 
campground, I think it is. 20 bucks a night down to Hatteras. I have no idea where we're running out of tomorrow morning. I might be driving past it, I don't know. But I'm gonna go fish the sound for a little bit, some reds. Um, see what I can catch. Listen to the creed. Pay my respects to Colin. He's not dead, he's just gay. So this is my camp spot I just got. Uh, it's Cape Point campground. It is pretty sweet having like this much space and a picnic table. I don't know what the hell's up with that picnic table. I think it looks like it's wonky. But maybe it's for cooking. Um, I'm gonna go to the beach now. Go go for a swim because I haven't yet. Go for a swim. Wait around for uh for more like dinner time or a little bit later. I'm gonna go catch some reds. Try to, you know. Every time I go fishing, I usually come up empty. It's not very good for fishing. GoPro's gotta be charged tonight too. Um, I should have charged up batteries in the way here, but I didn't. I'm almost at Tampa. Hopefully, no one drives by. <laughs> By the cowboy boots. me just enough to fuck me up and bring me down like a house of cards. Now I'm off. And I wonder if I'm living. But daddy, I've been trying. I just can't catch a break. There's too much in this world. I can't seem to shake. So I'm walking down this like, this is like the beach highway, you know, for guys that truck, drive the trucks on the beach, why not? And I found two already, these uh, handles for the reels. It's kind of funny, but let's see if we can find some more. Well, boys, fucked up. Truck stuck. I just dug out the wheels to try to get some branches underneath like this traction boards do. About to take the hitch out, deflate my tires down to to um, oh God. It's 20 or at least below 20, like 12 to get me out of here. This is kind of fucked. So, I'm trying to get out of here, get out to the end, turn around, then I gotta go through it again. So, should be fun. Well, we got her unstuck. It wasn't easy, but uh. We did it. Dropped the tire pressure down to 20 on the all, all around and then stuck sticks everywhere. And uh dude with the Jeep came up behind me. He was like, dude, you need help. I got a, got a winch. So that might be a thing I have to buy next as a winch for this truck. Because that was scary. But let's go see if we can catch some reds and relax a little bit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> get any bites but I got to sit out and uh, wade fish there for a second and uh the sun's going down so I wanted to get out of here I need to fill up my tires get a little uh some, some grub from the store real quick and um go back and rig up my spear gun my spear gun and shower so I got a couple of things that I need to do before the sun gets too far down and I want to be out of here before the sun goes down so we're gonna get going now not to mention truck's uh, 
let's see if we can, we can manage to get out of here without getting stuck again. So that would be very nice. Um, we're just gonna park a braking cage. That would help us to not get stuck. Pop these glasses off in serious mode. All right, we're in the sand shit now, so let's uh, go ahead and give them to her. Please do not get stuck here. This is where I got stuck last time. It's right here. Really just trying not to get stuck here. Again, I think the key is just to keep <coughs> gas on it the whole time. So you continuously kind of move and you just keep going. I think I'm out of most of the soft stuff. This is also pretty soft, you can tell. So hopefully I can get out of this. Let's get this motherfucker off. It's going two minutes and fucking 20 seconds of pure fucking violence. Forearm sore. Ooh. Fan? Well, it's very buggy here. Very buggy. If you guys can see, there's like bugs everywhere. Get out of here. Oh, they're firefly. Oh, I don't mean to kill you, buddy. You guys are nice. Um, I'll this light as soon as I'm done. So, <clears throat> got back. Rig must be going up. Showered. Air in the tires, clean the truck, because the sand on the bottom. And then, call my dad, and try to fight a swarm of flies and mosquitoes. The mosquitoes were really getting to me. Tomorrow we have, sorry bro, that's my better lighting than that. So you can see this crazy ass hair I got. Whoa, look at that beetle, bro. Oh, I wish I could just like let you guys out, but if I let you guys out, I let others in. What am I gonna do? I guess they're sleeping with me, buddy. <laughs> um, we're headed out tomorrow. Tomorrow at nine. I'm absolutely stoked. Give it you guys in the morning. Good night. All right. Good morning. I was waking up by the sun at 7 a.m. Coming right through the back window, and uh, it wasn't bad. It's kind of nice. Then I uh quickly um try to get my stuff ready because i needed to get my teeth brushed my stuff put away my bed put up and then get on the road because it's not a, it's eight it's like 8 25 right now and we're leaving at nine and i don't have any of my stuff packed up like food or nothing so no cooler packed no bag packed no gopro gear packed up so gotta get to the marina and get that started uh, I'll make some sandwiches too. I'll make three sandwiches in case someone else wants one. Um, then I have sandwich bread. I just got wraps. So I have to do with wraps. But um, I'm absolutely stoked this morning. I threw my contacts in. Um, ready to shoot some fish, man. Ready to have some fun. <laughs> There's a grouper over here. Yeah, he's kind of like on the bottom of the edge of the reef. Of the wreck.
think he's pooping down there. You see him? Okay. Uh, 53 feet. I'm stoked about that. Um, I don't know. I actually rolled up on them on the they're on the bottom. Oh really? And they rolled out, so I turned my back on them hoping they'd turn back around. Uh -huh. They kinda did. It just took me a second to light up the shot. <laughs> So, my first video after uh, the spearfishing trip. I'm up in Virginia now. I'm on my way back home. I decided I am not sleeping in the back of this truck. After flaying that pompano in my wetsuit, getting nasty, and uh, making myself smell like fish. So, I didn't want to sleep in the back of that truck with that. Got some chick for lure. About to get on out here. Head on home, try to go through some footage. I got a lot of footage to go through. I had such an incredible amount of stoke when I shot that pompano, dude. My heart freaking rushed so hard that when I was coming up, I don't know what happened, but I was quite close to the to the blackout phase. Um, maybe a brownout, definitely not a, brown, a blackout, but maybe maybe a brownout. Kind of had a the, the ringing and my face tingled and uh, my legs were on fire. The typical things in your push yourself a little too hard so um no fish is worth that though your life is worth it more than any fish drop the gun if anything drop the gun but i was fortunate enough i had good people with me i was fortunate enough not to have an actual blackout or brownout 
I recovered quickly and was so beyond stoked. I, I the, the shot placement was great. I don't know how much Pompano's fight. I've never fought a Pompano, but that that Pompano did not have any fight in it. I think I probably put it through its its brain. Um, it seemed pretty out pretty quick. I'm happy when I do that though, because uh, I don't like causing any kind of pain to the fish or um, extending his you know his life past a point where it's not very fun anymore. It's a lot of fun being a fish cruising around a wreck. It's not so fun being on the end of a spear. Right, <laughs> right. So, but this storm is rolling in in Virginia right now. It's supposed to rain the next three days at home. So hopefully I'll get some content put together for the bus. Because homeboy's got some work to do on the bus. But, uh, yeah, so maybe some of that content will come out next. Appreciate you guys so much. Um, I still haven't even made a YouTube really like channel yet and i still need to really figure out how to edit but whenever this content gets out i just want to say thank you i enjoy making it i enjoy editing and i really enjoy doing the things that provide the content because it's fun um so i hope you guys enjoy the videos cheers to my chick-fil-a sandwich y'all have a go